the Monday Night Football podcasters have been released. It would be the group of Steve Levy, Brian Greasy, and Lewis Riddick. Now, we know about Lewis Riddick. He goes on, get up pretty much every morning, and he's tremendous. He's a great analyst, and he'll probably be a great commentator. Steve Levy, we have not heard much about. We don't know if he can do this. And to my knowledge, I don't think he's ever done this. But he has enough commentating experience as a head guy of a show that he's capable of doing this. But Greasy is the wild card in this. We don't know how good he'll be. We think he's going to be good. We don't know if he's going to be good. We heard Monday Night Football has wanted a quarterback in there, now they got Brian Greasy in there. I hope this works out, because every year we have to go talk about how the broadcast team for Monday Night Football is terrible. It's not going to be good. There's always fan backlash against Monday Night Football about putting a new commentating team in there, putting another person in there, taking out a person, putting new people in there constantly. It's never been the same. So the group of Steve Levy, Brian Greasy, and Lewis Riddick will fought, do the 10 o'clock game, the 10 o'clock central game, 11 o'clock eastern game of the Titans and the Broncos where the group, the college football broadcasters of, of Chris Fowler and Kirk Herbstreit, who are phenomenal at what they do, and have already experienced are going to do the 8-15 game, 7 o'clock central game of the Steelers versus the Giants. Now, I hope the group of Steve Levy, Lewis Riddick, and Brian Greasy do well. But if we're comparing them to Fowler and Herb Street, Fowler and Herb Street are going to win that most of the time, if not all the time. Because they've been doing it longer, they've been together longer, and they've had more experience together. So they know, they have so much chemistry, where this group from Monday Night Football has just been pretty much a throw-in. We don't know what is, what is going to happen, because earlier in the year we heard they were going after Tony Romo. That didn't happen, he signs with CBS. Then we heard they're going after Peyton Manning, same amount of money, doesn't happen. We heard then they would try to get Peyton if they throw out Joe Tessitore, they had already gotten rid of Booger McFarlane because they said he was terrible. It was just not going to work. They were willing to get out of Joe and try to get either Al Michaels or Mike Tirico back to put with Peyton Manning because they said, well, he likes to work with those guys. It didn't happen. Then they decide, you know what, we're going to try to go after Drew Brees. That didn't work. Drew Brees signs back with the Saints, two years, it's not going to happen. So they decide, we're going to move on from Joe Tessitore and Booger McFarland. We're going to get a new group of people in there. There was a lot of, ch a lot of chattering going on about how or who could they put in there that people would enjoy, that people would want to go and see. And it became, well, why don't, like, I said it, and a lot of people said it, they should put Pat McAfee in there. He's very smart, he's very funny, he's entertaining. And he's, when he was doing it last year, he was very good. Him and Matt Hasselbeck were tremendous. I'm surprised they were not considered. We had heard that they considered Herb Street and Fowler for the role in the beginning, but they both declined. And now, during, during the COVID situation, Herb Street and Fowler are open to it, and so they're going to do the Steelers vs. Giants, where the group of Levy, Greasy, and Riddick will do Pants vs. Broncos. I predict Levy. Greasy and Riddick won't pretty much be a match for Fowler and Herbstreet because I know how good Fowler and Herbstreet are. 
And if this doesn't work out, it, there's two ways this goes. If Levy, Greasy, and Riddick are great, they're going to keep them. That's simple. But if it doesn't go good, I say you give them a half a year. If it doesn't go good, the ratings don't come positive. You get rid of Levy, Greasy, and Riddick, and you just try and convince Fowler and Herb Street to do the rest of the year. And then, coming to the next year, you do this all over again, and hopefully there won't be as much backlash. We'll get it before late July. We understand what's going to happen. But, I want to know what you guys think.